Hello everyone. Tires interact with the road profile and applied road load to vehicle suspension and then the vehicle body. Many levels of tire forces are represented by tire models such as Fiala, Pacheca, MF Sweep, and F Tire. Tire lateral force versus slip angle is represented by the curve in the first plot. Side slip angle is the angle between the tire travel direction and the tire heading direction. The lateral force reached to the peak at 5 degrees slip angle in the plot, then slowly declined. The orange line at the plot represents the linear slope at zero slip angle. This is cornering coefficient for the tire. Fiala tire is represented by the cornering coefficient only. It does not have lateral force saturation nor the lateral force decline after the peak. Tire longitudinal force versus longitudinal sleeve is represented by the curve in the second plot. Longitudinal sleeve is a ratio of tire slip speed at the tire patch to the wheel's travel speed. It shows a similar shape to the lateral force versus sleep curve. The orange line in the plot is longitudinal stiffness. Fiala tire is represented by the linear longitudinal stiffness. The peak in the tire fore aft and lateral forces are determined by the tire normal force, the vertical force, and the friction coefficient between the tire and the road surface. In the case of extreme cornering and braking happening together, tire cannot produce the forces independently in the first two plots. Combined the slip cases are represented by tire friction circle in the third plot. This is only represented by premium tire models such as MF Swift and F tire. The plot in this slide shows an ex example of the tire radial force versus deflection at three tire pressures. Measured data for tire can be represented by the equation reasonably well. Engineers should be careful if simulation cases might deflect the tire to the rim, where additional data should be supplied for tire to rim ground out. It is more common to get the tire to rim ground out against an edge rather than a flat surface. Tire radial force versus deflection representation the many ANSYS motion customers want to simulate rough road. Tire models have two types of calculating tire radial force. The point follow model only calculates the single point contact between tire and the road. The point follow model does not have a tire enveloping capability so that they cannot properly simulate a substantial road profile change such as step in the figure. The tire enveloping capabilities only available in premium tire models of MF tire and F tire. Vehicle Dynamics CA engineers are simulating diverse road surfaces. The flat road is most common. Vehicle Dynamics engineers also need simulate the potholes, driveways, Belgian blocks, and so on. Can we bring the road surface to the virtual simulation environment? The answer is yes. Technology has advanced significantly in the last decade. If you can build a road in blueprint, the road surface is simply represented by triangular patches. The slide has example of paddles, washboard, twist stitch. Even if you don't have a CAD model for the road surface, you can hire the road scanning company to build the road in CRG, which is curved regular grid format. For F-Tire users, road profile can be converted to RGR for F-Tire simulations. The rough road track was built in RGR format. The Belgian blocks in the right-hand side is in CLG format. 